Hey guys, Chris Grant here with ClearTheShelf.com and the video in this series is all about tactical arbitrage and the view data page. In my opinion, there is a lot of things that you can do with this, uh, this page. There's a couple of tools. First, you'll all know that the view data page here is where the items that you have just recently scanned all go so that you can look through them and see what may or may not be profitable. Maybe you need to change the quantity on some items. That's where these purple ones come in. But if you go up here to the menu, click that view data drop down and go to your saved lists. Now remember, items that you heart go to your saved list. We'll wait for that to load and they'll go to the very bottom you'll see it uh, let's see here <coughs> I have not segmented this uh, saved list in a while like I should so you'll see that it goes to the very bottom when I find an item So there are some things that you can do here. When you save it to this list, you could take these items and then save them by the day that you have scanned. You could save them by the store that you scan, the store and the date. Whatever you want to segment these up to, you can. For example, I want to take these items, these five items, which are all from Target. <coughs> Excuse me. And I want to create a new folder. We're going to call this Target uh, Health and Beauty. Create that. And then we can go back and select these items again and move these to Target Health and Beauty. And they'll be out of your main screen. And now, something that I think is powerful is we can go to those items, and let's say that a month from now, you want to go back through some of the items that you found that maybe were just on the cusp of being profitable, but they weren't, and you think that they might be able to be something that is uh, a replen for you. Well, you could go to that specific uh, folder, and then you can update all the data and this will take just a few minutes it'll update and we'll be able to see if the prices have gone up down if they're profitable if they're not profitable uh, that way you might actually find something in that that you could use bear with us a second while this runs okay and it's all back and we can see that these are actually all still profitable although that item uh, is mismatch. So I need to, oh no, it's not. But I need to find out if that's a multi pack or not. But either way, these items do show as profitable, so I could go ahead and make an order for these. And uh, you can do the same. Uh, it's very, very simple. You can have as many folders as you like. I currently have uh, just two, uh, but you can have tons and tons of folders. You can segment that data out any way you want. That way it's easy for you to use. And, uh, and you can come back to it later and see what, uh, what is good product and what is not. So I hope this helps uh, in the way that you view data uh, and the way that you parse it and work through it uh, because I think that that is a super powerful tool uh, and actually pretty cool uh, to be able to make a little bit of money on uh, down the road without having to go back and do scans all the time. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or if I didn't make something clear, please leave a comment on my blog, leave a comment on uh, the YouTube video. I do read every single one and I'll get back to you. Uh, and uh, you know, go check out cleartheshelf.com. I appreciate you guys being here and I hope this helps. Have a great day.